Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Gripper Rip back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be talking about all you need to know before you buy 2022 Topps Holiday. That is right guys, Topps Holiday is finally here just in time for Christmas. But before we talk about it, let's plug a few things before we start. So let's try for a light goal. You guys have been absolutely accomplishing almost every light goal I set. Let's try for 100 likes even. Can we get 100 likes on this video? That would be awesome if you guys can do that for me. And the next thing is I have merch now. If you guys have missed the last couple of videos, I released merch last Friday. Link is in the description. There's t-shirts and hoodies. And if you buy a t-shirt or hoodie, I want you to DM me on my Instagram, Grip and Rep Sports Cards, with a proof of purchase. When you do, you'll be entered into a giveaway to win a 2022 Tops Update Blaster Box. So hopefully you guys like the merch. I do. And when you buy one, DM me proof of purchase saying you got your email confirmation saying it's, you know... Uh, on the way or whatever and I will reply to you so that way you know I seen it and I will put you into the drawing for a blaster box right now only one person has entered so if no one else enters he'll be the person who wins it so if you guys want a chance at a blaster box there you go so it's that out of the way let's talk about updates shall we 2022 or not update 2022 tops holiday so here is the catch with 2022 Tops Holiday, right? So Beckett just released an article about an hour ago. And this review or this what you need to know is going to be very bare bones, uh, you know, considering the fact to the other ones because there is not a lot of information right now about this release aside from a checklist. So... I have an idea. They now it's going to be very vague. This ain't like the other watch before you buys where I cover the configurations and you know the everything about the release. There's not much that we know about this release right now. Although we're going to base it off of years past because I doubt the configuration is going to change. So we're going to start out with the release date, right? And we're just going to put this in the background. This is 2021. We're just going to keep that in the background right there, as you know, as a oh, maybe we'll put it like this as a just a, something to put in the video right so the release date is today right but here's the thing it varies by location so potentially your walmart could have them today do i expect them to go up on the website yes now the 2022 tops holiday mega boxes as you know they only come in mega boxes that's it um walmart exclusive of course I think they'll go on the website today. I think they'll get put up on the website sometime, probably in the afternoon, like they always do uh, for sports cards, you know, but it varies by location, right? So if you go to your Walmart, some people like myself, I highly doubt I'm going to find it today. They won't be there. My vendor stocks on Friday. So do I expect to see it on Friday? Yes, but Today's Wednesday, and I highly doubt it'll be there, but some places do stock on Wednesdays, so if your Walmart stocks on Wednesdays, go and check it out if you're interested in this set. It releases today, but on the website, or on the Beckett.com uh, you know, article on this release, it even says varies by location, and that just depends on when your vendor goes and restocks. So it all depends. So if your vendor has restocked on a Wednesday before, I would go and check it out if you're interested. Price, we don't know. There is no price date or a price point on this at all. Last year, it did say in the article, these were $22, which that is true. These were $22. I'm just going to guess based off of last year's and all this price increase, I'm going to guess these are around $27 to $35. This year, depending on, like I said, how far they go with it, I don't know. Um, you know, this whole year, Tops has increased price. And, you know, these were $20, well, $22 last year. I expect them to be around $27 to $29, maybe even $30. I'm thinking I'm leaning towards $30. I'll tell you why. Because these were $2 more then Blaster Boxes, last year Blaster Boxes, of course, as you know, were $20, 19 
These last year were 22, and you know the blaster boxes now are 27. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add $7. So it's going to look like $29 or $30. I think it's probably going to be $29.99. That's going to be my guess. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I could be completely wrong about that. But like I said, there is no pricing information yet. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But I'm going to guess it's $29 to $30. $35 at the max. I don't think they do that. But we're going to go over the checklist tomorrow. It's a loaded checklist. So people claim the price increases are based on the checklist, which I think is a complete... BS lie. I don't I don't really think it's based on the checklist. I just think they're being greedy. I don't like for like for instance, you know, how many Julio Rodriguez cards can one person have in their collection? You know, that alone, like his name alone, I highly doubt like, you know, raises the price. That just doesn't make any sense, but you know, the, it is it is a loaded checklist. Every uh, you know, every person in update who was an update this year is in this set and series 1 and series 2 in terms of rookie wise. So this is a pretty decent set, which we'll cover in tomorrow's video in the top five, most viable. And let's talk about the set itself. It's a 200-card base set with 100 image variations. Now, image variations in um, Holiday, typically, these aren't image variations I have here, but here are Shohei Otani rookie cards from Holiday, actually, in 2018. As you see, his rookie cards, right their rookie logos right there on the bottom right-hand corner. So, yeah, I got these. I opened a lot of 2018 holiday. I remember that um, like it was yesterday, pretty much. Four years ago, it's crazy to think how long it's actually been since that absolutely godly loaded 2018 update has been out. But 2018 is probably the closest we can get to a decent set this year. 2022 Tops update can be considered that set. But, you know, 2022 print runs are way, way higher than 2018's ever were. So, will it be as valuable as 2018? I highly doubt it, but you never know. But, um, you know, when they talk about image variations in Holiday, they're talking like, for example, you see how Shoei has a bat here. What they'll do is they will Photoshop this bat out and they'll put a candy cane in his hand. Or what they like to do sometimes is they'll put Santa hats, which is, typically what they do they like to put santa hats on the players they'll photoshop this helmet out and they'll throw a um what's it called they'll throw a santa hat on him or they'll put like some extra snowflakes in the background or something like that or though what they like to do sometimes as well is they will change the color of his jersey or some something very subtle sometimes it's almost very subtle but I think starting last year, they started turning around the cards to like make sure you knew it was an image variation, which is actually really good of them to do because some of the image variations in this set, and I assume all the rookies are going to have them, I can just almost guarantee you they're going to, um, they're very subtle. It just depends. They are very subtle. Like sometimes they'll throw, like depending on the picture, like if his feet are in the picture, they'll put ice skates on him and take off the cleats and they'll put like ice skate blades on his cleats. So it's very, very subtle sometimes. Or like the bat grip. They'll throw like a candy cane bat grip on his bat. Like I said, very, very subtle changes. So luckily, in, like starting last year, they started flipping around the card to make sure you knew it was special. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I guarantee you, like I said, all of the main rookies like O'Neal, Julio, Bobby Witt, they'll all have an image variation. I can almost guarantee it. Like maybe probably Mike Trout, Aaron Judge will as well, Shelly Otani, you name it. You know, all the stars and rookies. So basically, essentially, it's 300 cards, but, you know, image variations don't really count for that set, so we're just going to go with 200, but it's just an added-on bonus that you get the image variations. I don't know the exact odds of image variations in the years past. Actually, let's check on here. We can just check right here. Let's see. Let's see if it says, Holiday Variation Short Print, which what this is, it's 1 in 7, so... It looks like you're guaranteed one per box. That's what it looks like. One in seven. There's 10 packs with 10 cards, 100 total cards in every box. I assume that's going to stay the same as this year or as last year's and previous years. I don't see why they would change that. But the biggest selling point, which we're going to get into right now, is one autograph or relic guaranteed in every single box. Now, people have done the math in years past. It could change this year. It varies by year to year. But last year, it was one in 30 contains an autograph so if you bought 30 of these things you're only getting one autograph every 30 boxes of holiday 
I mean, what do you expect? I mean, that's what it is. I mean, you're not going to get an autograph in every single box or tops would probably be losing money because a lot of these players who sign, um, I think their sticker autos don't, don't quote me on that. I think their sticker autos, I'm not completely sure. Uh, I don't watch too many breaks of this stuff. I only open it myself, but in years past, I think there were sticker autos, but what they do is, you know, these players sign for X amount of money per card. If all these boxes had autographs in them, Tops would definitely be losing money uh, if they did that. So, you know, the ratio, 1 to 30, I mean, that's what, as expected. I mean, honestly, for 20 bucks, well, last year was 20 bucks. I'm going to say this year it's going to be 30 because that's, you know, Tops claim they're only increased the price 25%, but it's more like 50%, really, at the end of the day. I mean, if you're paying $30 a blaster box now, that's literally 50% increase from last year. But... You know, Topps claimed they're only raising the price 25%, which is a complete lie. But, um, you know, getting back to it, um, you know, $30 for a box. You know, we're going to get into my thoughts and opinions now. But $30 for a box, presumably that's what it's going to be. Um, that's really good. I mean, 100 cards, 200 card set. You could, you could definitely complete the set in three boxes. If you bought three boxes of this stuff, you could probably complete this set. Well, I mean, I don't think you can complete it in two because you're definitely going to get duplicates. Uh, in the in the other box, if you bought two, but in three box in three boxes, you should definitely be able to you know complete these sets. I love Tops Holiday. I am a big fan of Tops Holiday. I think it's one of the best. If you have a person in your family who loves baseball cards, this is definitely one of the boxes you're gonna want to get them. Um, like I said, thirty dollars presumably this year for a hundred cards. And an auto, a guaranteed relic. I'm, as, I'm pretty much gonna say guaranteed relic. Sometimes an auto, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, that's definitely a. This is like what these are really. They're just gift sets. They're basically just. It's just a gift set you would want to give someone. Like let's say maybe your son, daughter, dad who likes to collect baseball cards. Maybe your grandpa. You know your uncle. You know someone like that. That's what these were really made for. And they're made for the collector you know, to, you know, spread holiday cheer in the baseball card collecting community because some of the relics you're going to get are like Santa hats and things like that, which aren't really quote-unquote player worn, but, you know, it's a fun little thing that they like to do. You know, it's not that big of a deal. And like I said, if they had to put an autograph or relic in every box, they would be losing money. But, you know, the fact that you can get something pretty cool, you can't get which I looked on eBay, you can get Santa Claus relics, like, you know, his suit per se, or his hat. You can get um, his autograph, you can get an elf autograph, you know, things like that, novelties like that. But for the most part, I'm a big fan of Topps Holiday. I love it every year. Uh, I have a lot of, I have literally a stack of base cards from last year's set, literally like right on my stand, right next to me. I haven't put, you know, in the in the binder or in a, in a box yet. But as you see, last year's design was pretty cool. They had like a green and red design and then they had like a, a snowflake pattern per se on the back. I really liked them. Uh, there is no picture of this year's design yet. So if you see a design of 2021's holiday in the, in the thumbnail of this video, please don't, please don't critique me for that because um, there is no photo now, if there does become a photo available uh, before this video goes live tomorrow, because I'm recording this night before, um, you know, I'll obviously change the thumbnail. But as of right now, there's going to be a 2021 Topps Holiday uh, picture in there just because there is no design. Beckett claims it's a snowflake design again with like the same kind of deal going on there. But what it is, it's the 2022 design as we all have known and seen by now plenty of times except in a Christmassy pattern. And most of the cards are like replicas. Like O'Neill Cruz's card will pretty much guarantee you look something like that. Pretty much. But, you know, again, it's just fun. It's a fun set. Do I think you should buy some? Absolutely. Um, I, I would probably recommend two boxes. And if you have people in your family who like collecting cards, this is a great gift for them. Cheap, fun, affordable um, you know, no one can go wrong with holiday. I love holiday. I buy it every single year. Unfortunately, last year, I didn't find it until like January. I bought this box in January. That's why I didn't open it. Typically I open them. Um, but 
I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to find it. Like, they come out today, but I I have a weird suspicion that I don't think I'm going to be able to find it today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it um, as the month of December goes on. And hopefully, hopefully I can find the new ones. I don't think it's going to be a, ba like a, like a big deal to try to find them. When they do eventually release this week or the next, you know, just like I said, depending on your location, I don't think these will be scalped. I, 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 I don't think so. Um, Holiday isn't one of those sets that people, you know, rant and rave about. Like, oh yeah, Holiday's coming out. I need Holiday. That's nah, it's not typically one of them sets. I've had luck finding all of the different ones except 2020 because 2020 was a disaster for the whole world, pretty much. I couldn't find nothing in 2020. And the whole card craze and the scalping and all that. But, you know, I found 2018. I found 2019. I found 2021. Never found 2020. But that set was probably pretty bad anyways, considering there's only one good rookie in that. Well, I mean, unless Jordan and Bo Bichette had cards in that set. But I they probably did. But I never I never bought it. Never did. Um, so, we're going to open two packs today, actually. So, first, we're going to open a silver pack. Well, actually, we'll do that second. And then we have this value pack of Heritage. I just literally found in my closet, my storage closet of stuff. Uh, so yeah, we actually completed the whole hobby box of update, the hobby box number one. As you guys know, we do have another release this week, Stadium Club. And I don't think I'm going to buy it. I don't know. I might get pure pressure into it. I have legit no idea. So... Let's get this pack open. We have Jaron Duran on the front. I think there's like 15 cards in this. I don't know. Heritage High Number releases next week on the 7th. That's a Wednesday. So next week on the 7th, if you guys are interested, December 7th, the High Number version comes out, which I will definitely be grabbing a box of this stuff. Because I can guarantee you Julio and all those others will be in there. So I don't know exactly who we're looking for. Wander and O'Neal, I think, are the only two in this, I think, that are decent rookie-wise. Jaron Duran's decent, I think. But aside from, like, you know, I don't think any other decent rookies are in here, I think. I don't know. This is, that's a World Series highlight card. It's pretty cool. Ernie Clement. So, Stephen Kwan will be in the set in high number. Yeah, this pack looks like an absolute dud. Oh, I thought that was Hunter Green for a second. And Sears Tower. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So there's that, and that was pretty much a dud. I don't remember even when I bought that, probably like in April. Now let's get on to the silver pack. I want to see if we can pull a Julio out of here. Because I didn't pull a Julio base card in my hobby box. So let's see if I can pull something good, like something, like anything. An autograph even, maybe. How about that? So let's see who we get on the top. Nicholas Castellanos on the top. And based off of that... See, what you could do is you could look at the cross-section of these packs like this, and you could tell whether or not there's a parallel in here just by looking at that. But I don't think there's one here. It don't look like it, but we'll see. So we got Nick Gonzalez. We got, or not Nick Gonzalez, Nick Castellanos. Jeez. We got Mackenzie Gore. Okay, decent. I'll take Mackenzie Gore. We have another, please be C.J. Abrams. It is C.J. Abrams. There's a decent one. We got one decent one. And we got... Who's that? Torkelson. Okay, we actually got some good ones. What's this? What's this? Celebrate biggest moments. Trop tops trading cards. Live. Long live the moment. What is this? I thought this was like a Series 1 advertisement for next year, but it's not. So that was actually a pretty decent pack. Uh, three rookie cards. I cannot go wrong with that. And a World Series participant. That's pretty good. I mean, that's the best you're going to get. I mean, three decent rookies like these two are definitely collectible. Mackenzie Gore is a decent, but again, pitchers don't really do well. So yeah, these two are definitely good, and this one's decent. So I'm not going to complain about that pack. That pack was actually really, really good. My hobby box of that overall was probably like a 9 out of 10, considering I didn't get a Julio base, but I'll consider it a 9 out of 10. So guys, let me know what you think about 2022 Topps Holiday. Are you going to be finding any? Let me know. I want to know in the comment section, if you go to your Walmart today, let me know if you find it. I assume some people will find it. I don't think I will, but I'm going to go up my Walmart and check anyways just to see what that's all about. But guys, that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.